Nigeria is a country where we elect president before asking if he understand the job. Former Kano Emir Sanusi. Sanusi added that the concluded general elections had further dangerously divided Nigeria along ethnic and religious lines. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. A former Emir of Kano, Mohammed Sanusi, has stated that Nigeria is the only country he knows where the people elect the president before knowing if he knows what he is doing or whether he understands what the job is. Sanusi added that the concluded general elections had further dangerously divided Nigeria along ethnic and religious lines. The former emir and the former governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria noted that Nigerian's economy was in the doldrums. He said in October 2022, speaking at the Kaduna Investment Forum, I told Nigerians that if anyone told them that dealing with Nigeria post-2023 would be easy, they would not vote for that person. I meant it. I did. I don't think Nigeria has been in a place as difficult as this since the Civil War. We have a challenge of nation building. We have a country that has been divided dangerously along ethnic and religious lines. We have an economy that is in the doldrums, and unfortunately, we seem to be having a threat of leadership. According to him, beyond defining the kind of leaders the country needs, it also needs to look critically at the process through which the leaders emerge as leaders. No process is perfect. We have seen so in the United Kingdom and the United States as the very last. The people should know who they are voting for is important. I think we need to begin to look at the Electoral Act 2022 much earlier than elections. We need to have a system where one cannot just go to participate in party primaries without being exposed to public scrutiny. This is what happens everywhere. People need to know what they are voting for. In, in other claims, they are compelled by law to participate in public debate, to discuss issues of policy before entering the office so that Nigerians will understand what they are in. This is the only country I know where we elect a president first before knowing if he knows what he is doing or whether he understands what the job is, he added. He also said the process through which Nigerians choose their leaders must be more transparent. Nigerians, you've all heard it now. Joking with people wishes and mandates because of corrupt, unjustified, negative political mental reasoning. The electronics voted for nonsense and commit, commit him to God afterwards. My future president of Nigeria, if you can even become the Nigerian president, I will love that. Someone said, these are reactions from Nigerians. The truth remains that we Nigerians, we are the real architects to our problems. So, like what I always say, because when you talk, they will attack you. Why did you say so? He just said it. Nigeria has been divided uh, along ethnic and religious lines. And this is the real thing these politicians use to attack Nigerians. But we have refused to learn lessons. We have refused to, you know, borrow sense, put for our own, make we understand who our real problems are. You understand? We continue to fight each other. Yoruba, Aosa, Igbo. We are not enemies. But understand what these people have done towards. They will first of all use ethnicity, 
and religion so that they can easily get their way through. But because we don't really understand these people, then we will start fighting ourselves and then they, they will not get their way through. If we don't understand our true enemies, we will not excel. You understand? Everybody wants to defend their own. Nobody wants to talk about, is this person capable for this job? Not minding where the person is coming from. Nobody wants to know whether this person can do the job or not. Then when we don't do things, you will come begin to cry. Just like, what is going on right now? Like I always tell people that we should not, we should pray so that we will not start saying, hey, I bet take us back to President Muhammad Wari's regime. The way Nigerians were praying during President Muhammad Wari's regime, I bet take us back to Jonathan's regime. Now you be saying, matter don't worse be that. If we don't learn now, when are we going to learn? That is why I said we are our own problems. We are the architect to our problems. Nigerians, they talk, say, eh, the past election was rigged by the INEC chairman. Okay, make I ask this question. Mahmoud Yakubo announced the results, right? Good and fine. Mahmoud Yakubo did not go to polling units because this rigging started from somewhere. Even though say they say they manipulate the results, now somebody clean and write them. Now Nigeria, the person be. Person is a Nigerian. He they go markets. He they hear. He they see. Waiting to happen. Now person stand. Snatched by Lord Burris. Now person attack people. Make them not go vote for the people who they won't vote for. These people are Nigerians. So you see, the reason why I said we are our own problem, and these problems. Only us can solve it. By the time when we don't tell ourselves, say, we don't tire, uh -huh, then we can solve our problem. So all those people when they shout, international communities, this and this and that, nobody will save you. You are the only person who can save yourself in this. Well, make a drop up for here, my people. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section, please. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel.